So all you console players, I don't know if you noticed this this morning or not, but uh, Precision Farming got an update. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. Precision Farming got the update for consoles today, y'all. Oh man, I can't even begin to explain how excited I am about this. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the uh, update says in Mod Hub real quick. So here is the description itself. As you can see, this is version 1.0.2.0. So this is going to be exactly like the update that we saw on Mod Hub, but unfortunately it only came to PC earlier. But I think since the game got an update this morning, we're also getting this update for console. So at the very bottom, you can see changelog 1.0.2.0. Field calculation for soybeans, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane is now correct. Field statistics on consoles are now correctly displayed after loading the game and fi fixed issues with UI while working on a field on Mac. So that one doesn't apply to console players, but the other two, absolutely awesome. So we're going to go ahead and jump back over to the gameplay and I'll show you guys how I tested this. All right, y'all. So here we are once again. We, um, I wanted to go ahead and test, make sure that all of the yield percentages are accurate now. So what we've got is all the ones that we knew that we had issues with. So we have soybeans right here. We have um, sugar beets here. We have potatoes and obviously sugar cane. Now I also went ahead and put in some wheat right here in the middle um, just to act as the um, known control. All right. So we've got harvester here. We've got all these other harvesters here. We are good to rock and roll. Let me go ahead and show you the map here really quick. All right. So once again, this is just the regular crops. As you can see, we have soybeans, wheat, sugar beets, potatoes, and sugar cane. If we come over to precision farming, you can see that these are all of our uh, soil types right here. So we're going to start off with sandy loam, then go into loamy sand, back to sandy loam, loam, and then silty clay. So I have all four right here in this one spot. Absolutely perfect. We don't, we're not going to catch very much on this one, but once we get down into this area right in here, we're going to be good. So I'm very confident that we're going to be able to get good, um, accurate data on all four of these. So we come over here to pH. You can see that everything is exactly where it should be for the soil type that it needs to be come over to nitrogen, you can see that we are good. Now this one doesn't have anything because it's soybeans. We all know that soybeans doesn't take nitrogen. So that's going to continue here with the new update. Um, everything else looks really, really good. I checked the values. They are right where they need to be based on my previous videos. So we are good there. Um, I haven't done any harvesting here before. Everything that was here, I just went ahead and plowed under. So we don't have any data here. So it's all going to be 100% accurate. We're not going to have anything cloudy mixed in like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and harvest everything that you see right here. We're gonna do one strip all the way down for each one of these, and we shouldn't have anything overlapping. We should be all good, ow, all good to go. And then, um, you know, I'll come back once I get all the data, and I'll show you guys what it's all about and make sure that everything looks good. So I will see you guys in just a bit. All right, everybody. So we got the harvesting done and something really interesting happened. Um, not so much with yields, but with the mini map here. Let me go ahead and jump in this harvester right here and I'll bring up the mini map and you can see that it's not going to show my yield. It's going to show the nitrogen level, which is fine, um, except that it's supposed to show yield. Um, so everything happened perfectly fine with the, um, nitrogen. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here real quick. So these are the soil types. Once again, I just want you to see what they look like and pH, it looked like it dropped. Okay. And nitrogen, it looked like it dropped. Okay. too. Um, but then here are the yields. So this right here is absolutely perfect. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue right in here with the wheat, but I think it's because the heart, the header was a little bit wider than the swath was. So it wasn't quite showing up right. Um, if we take a look here at the 125%, I get rid of that. It's really 
awkward, but if I come down here to um, 100 and 115, you know, it's it's showing okay, but I don't know why, you know, it's it's just a weird thing I think that happened with wheat. I don't think there's an issue at all with it because everything else looks good. And the same thing is happening here when I go to the 90. I'm getting a little bit of 85 in here. Um, so you can see right here, it's showing at 85 over most of it, which shouldn't be right. It should be at 90. So I really think there was something going on with the actual um, header. Not the header itself, but just the way that it was. So I'm going to do a follow-up video just to confirm all the other base game crops are good too. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that these crops um, are performing absolutely perfect where they should have been. Soybeans, um, we had sugar beet, potatoes, and sugar cane. So all of them are right exactly where they should be. So short, quick video here. Um, like I said, I am going to do a follow-up video on the other crops. Um, I don't know if it's going to be today, um, but it'll be soon. Definitely, definitely soon on this. Um, I don't see it as a huge thing. It's just, and I really, really think it was a header just because I was so close here and it was a wide header and it was like picking up some of this stuff over here, picking up a little bit over here. So it's... I, like I said, it just didn't make a full pass. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. But if you learned something today or enjoyed the video, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest precision farming videos, think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.